Hello, this is Tony Hiller from Visitech.ai. In this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to analyze precipitation data using Visitech. Last year, there was severe flooding at Asheville, North Carolina, which sparked a lot of speculation about increasing amounts of heavy rain. Instead of speculating, let's go to Visitech and analyze the historical data. This is what the website looks like for subscribers. The first thing I'm going to do is use this drop-down to select North Carolina. Now on the Google map, we can see all of the United States Historical Climatology Network stations in North Carolina. Let's zoom in and find the one closest to Asheville. I'm going to pick the station at Hendersonville. I'm going to use this drop-down menu to select Hendersonville. This is all of the daily maximum temperature data for Hendersonville, but for this video we're interested in precipitation. Now we are looking at all of the precipitation events recorded at Hendersonville since 1898. By hovering over this data point, we can see that their heaviest precipitation event was 9.92 inches on July 16, 1916. That was a little bit higher than last year when they got 8.9 inches on September 27th. We can see down here where the mouse is that since 1898, Hendersonville has received 7,187 inches of rain. Now let's do some analysis on the data. I'm going to click on the Table tab to see what the data consists of. There's two columns, the date and the amount of precipitation on each date. So I'm going to send the command, calculate the total Hendersonville precipitation for each year. This title is a little distracting, so I'm going to get rid of it. We can see the data more clearly now, and I'm going to put a trend line through it. You can see that there's been no trend in Hendersonville, North Carolina precipitation since the 19th century. And we can also see that the wettest year was 1901 when they received 92.6 inches of rain. Now I'm going to tell it to count the number of days per year with precipitation greater than one inch. Once again, there's been no trend and the peak year was 1901 when they had 32 days with more than one inch of precipitation. Let's do the same thing now for two inch precipitation events. We can see now that there's been a decline in two inch precipitation events with the peak year once again being 1901 when they had 15. Now let's do the same thing for 3 inch precipitation events. There's been no trend in 3 inch precipitation events and the peak year was 1901 when they had 6. So we've answered our original question. There's been no increase in extreme precipitation events in the Asheville, North Carolina area. Beyond our original question, there's a lot more interesting information we can gather from this tool. Let's find out which times of year heavy precipitation is most likely to occur at Hendersonville, North Carolina. Once again, we're looking at all of the precipitation data. I'm going to issue the command graph by year. Now we have a line for every year since 1898 going from January 1st through December 31st. This is a little bit difficult to interpret, so I'm going to calculate the mean of each 30 values. Mean 30. Now we have a new series which I'm going to select. It's down here at the bottom. I don't want to see 1904, so I'm going to exit out. I want the mean to fill up the whole graph, so I'm going to click on Reset Zoom. Now we can see that spikes in heavy precipitation at Hendersonville have occurred at specific times of year. 
the biggest one being around August 20th. They've had a lot of heavy precipitation events around July 11th, around May 22nd, and also around September 13th. We're just scratching the surface of the types of analysis we can do, but it took us only about five minutes to become experts on precipitation around Asheville, North Carolina. I plan to make a lot more of these instructional videos showing how to use Visita.